Hello everyone and welcome to the second video in the series on installing MRBS onto your own uh, server. MRBS being the meeting room booking system, uh, an open source system uh, that you can use to book rooms or other services uh, that you may be providing. So in this video we're going to look specifically at installing MRBS files on your web server and we'll start by going uh, to the MRBS website and we're going to pick up uh, pretty much where we left off uh, with the first video in this series where I showed you how to get your server in shape. Um, if you haven't watched that video and if you're uncertain as to whether your server will be able to handle uh, MRBS, uh, I would encourage you to look at that video first. Uh, if you are ready to go, then uh, what we're going to do is look at this uh, installing MRBS files on your web server. So I'll just scroll down a little here. Uh, let's clear this screen. And so this is a pretty straightforward process, and there's actually a number of ways that you can do it. Um, I'm going to do it with uh, FileZilla. Um, you could do you could do it from the command line as well, but um, it could get a little tricky in terms of permissions, and uh, we don't really want to go into um, RSA keys and that sort of thing. So, you know, we, we could use SFTP, we could use uh, SCP uh, to transfer files from one system to another, but FileZilla is the easiest way to do this, uh, particularly when, uh, you know, people that are watching this may be using different operating systems. So this, this is kind of the universal way of doing it. And what I'm going to do is go to this download page. Uh, so if, if you go back to the top of the installation documentation, um, you'll see the little download button there. Um, and what I'm going to do is uh, download uh, the tarball. So I'll go ahead and click on that. And so when I do that, uh, I'll, I'll be able to click the latest version. Um, I, I tried doing this with wget, and it just it was too difficult uh, from the command line. Which and that's usually the way I like doing this, uh, just so I don't have to mess around with any uh, SFTP clients or anything like that. But uh, it didn't work, so I, I'm going to go ahead and click on download latest version. And uh, let's see, it'll start shortly. So once uh, once that's downloaded, I may actually already have this on the system. Uh, but in any case, we have we have a copy of this now. Now I'm going to do the, the the file transfers, and we want to make sure that uh, we have permissions to get into a user directory on our server. So uh, what I'm going to do is uh, let's go ahead and open FileZilla and then I'm using an IP address uh, for my server. So let's see uh, 10.3.20.11 username password for that user and then the port number should be 22 and we'll go ahead and click quick connect and unknown host key which is pretty normal the first time you're, you're, you're logging in uh, so what we're gonna do now is we're going to transfer our download so I'm currently um, on my host machine uh, I am in my home directory I am in downloads uh, so you know I would click on home uh, username and then get down to downloads and once I click on downloads it's going to show me the contents of that directory and here I've downloaded the MRBS stuff a couple of times so um, I'm just going to use this older one just because it it isn't going to have any weird names in it uh, and all you need to do is just drag and drop that tar file into the directory, your user's directory on the server. So I can go ahead and drop that there. And it looks like it's there. All files have been transferred successfully. I'm just going to close that out. And I'm in my home directory uh, for the server that I'm installing uh, MRBS to. So I'm just going to do the ls command and you'll see that my MRBS file is there. Um, to organize things a little better, I'm going to go ahead and make a new directory. So, mkdi 
DIR uh, and I'm going to call it MRBS and then what I'm going to do is move my file into that directory so uh, MV MRBS the file space and then um, MRBS to get into the the new directory that I've created so uh, enter and if we do LS you'll see that we have our MRBS directory here we'll change directories into that uh, MRBS LS and so now we have uh, our tar file uh, here in this directory and we'll just scroll down a little bit here so uh, they were kind enough to give us the command for extracting the tarball um, that's what this tar gz uh, file is and we'll go ahead and run that so tar dash x uh, b z f and um, we're already in the directory, so we don't have to worry about typing all of that out. Uh, we'll go ahead and enter. Whoops, I actually have to put the file name in there. Sorry about that. Uh, so MR, and at this point I can just ha hit tab to auto-complete that. So I hit tab, auto-completes it, enter, and then all of those files should now be in this directory um, and you can see here that it was extracted and we can change directories into that so cd mrbs oops mr and i'm just going to hit tab to auto complete and then now we can list all of the contents of this directory and so we have all of the files that we need uh, to get things up and running uh, here in this directory and so the next step of this process is we have, um, we're told here that MRBS comes with a sample configuration file. And this is an important file. It's uh, where you place all of your directives to kind of customize things and, and make sure everything's running smoothly. Uh, but we'll talk a little bit more about that later in um, the final video. Uh, but for now, we need to we need to actually have a config file. So they provided a sample and they're telling us we should copy uh, that sample to a new name in the same directory. So uh, this is all in the web directory. I've already uh, actually haven't so let's see clear and let's um, CD into the web directory and I'll list the contents there so you'll see that the um, sample configuration file that they were talking about is right there. I'm just gonna clear that for now and uh, so they've told us we need to copy that and you can do that by running this command uh, which is CP and then the name of the file we want to copy so in this case it is config um, I'm just gonna hit tab to autocomplete all of that um, and then what we want to do is give it the name config uh, same name only we want to take out the dash sample so um, we want to copy the config sample file right here and we want that new name to be config.inc.php uh, so if we hit enter and then if I do the ls command you'll see that we now have that new config inc.php file and we'll, we'll edit this in the final video but for now it's it's there and it's what we need so so then what they're telling us is um, we can install MRBS by copying the contents of the web subdirectory, uh, which we're already in right now. Uh, and we need to put it into uh, a directory that we that our web server can uh, find these files. So um, they're suggesting the var lib Apache and it, all of this stuff. Uh, you know, it, these three directories here I think are, are unique to whoever created this uh, documentation and I I, I don't know I, I always put this sort of thing into the the standard web directory so that's what I'm not I'm going to do I'm not going to um, follow this recommendation I don't know if what I'm doing is poor practice uh, but 
that's just the way I've I've always done things so that's the way I'm gonna do it now so I'm gonna put it in the web directory I'm not gonna mess around with making new directories to store this in um, if you do do this you do want to make sure that your web server can find it and I'm gonna show you how to do that uh, after we copy uh, the web directory to the directory that I, that I want this to be live in so with that said um, I am going to first clear this and what we'll do is run the command uh, sudo cp-r and the reason why I'm, I'm putting in this dash r is to let the system know that I want to copy all of the web directory contents all of the subdirectories, all the files that are associated with it uh, to this new location. And uh, so the dash R is for recursive, recursively um, copy everything. And so what we're copying is from the home folder. So this little tilde dash that or forward slash that that just means uh, start at my home directory. And then I created a directory called MRBS, um, and then uh, the directory that we extracted, and then web. Uh, so this should be the same for you as well if you've been following uh, instructions up to this point. Much like the, the command we ran before, the copy command, so it's uh, we have to run it as a sudo user uh, because we're copying these files into a directory that is owned by root and uh, so we're recursively copying all of the files from my home mrbs mrbs 1.8.0 web um, to the var www.html and yeah so th this is the directory we want to copy everything to so go ahead and hit enter uh, because it's a sudo command i have to put in my password and it looks like it was successful. So what we can do is just change directories to that web directory, HTML, and list the contents. And you can see that the we successfully copied the web directory. Let's go ahead and change directories into that. List all the contents. So now uh, everything is there. You can see our config file that we've just created is, is there as well. Okay, so there is one more step to this. We want to make sure that Apache, uh, which is our web server, is able to find this directory. We want to make this kind of the, the root directory for uh, this system. So uh, the way we do that is, uh, let's go ahead and clear this. And I'm going to go into the Etsy directory. And that is kind of where everything is stored, all default configurations configurations for various systems and software are usually stored in the ETC directory. Um, so if I go ahead and hit enter and ls, you'll see that there's all kinds of services here. The one we're looking for is Apache 2, so we're going to change directories into that, cd apache2. And then uh, I'm going to list the contents, and you'll see a directory called sites available. Uh, which is where your default is for pointing uh, Apache to the directory that, that you want it to be um, be in communication with. So let's cd sites available and we'll list the contents and you'll see this 000, 000 default conf. So this is where you want to make uh, changes to uh, how Apache uh, communicates with the system. And I'm going to use the nanotext editor because that's a very easy one to use. Um, if you don't have it on your system, you can just run sudo apt install nano, and that should put it on your system. Uh, I'm going to go ahead. I think it comes standard with Debian based systems, uh, but I don't know for sure. Uh, anyways, we want to do sudo nano, and you do have to use the sudo command because uh, this is owned by root. Um, actually, let's just lsla. Uh, so you see that this this here is owned by uh, the root user and the root group. Um, if you try to edit this as your regular user, you won't be able to because you won't have write permissions. 
it looks like you'll be able to get in, you'll be able to read it, but you won't be able to write to it. Uh, so you want to make sure you use sudo. sudo nano and then the file name and enter. And um, let's go ahead and make this bigger. And so in this file, you want under the virtual host, you want to come down here to document root. And remember how I copied that web directory into the HTML directory. And so if I do the forward slash web, um, that should that should do what I need. If we go back to the documentation, you remember how it had said um, gave the example of var lib Apache and, and all that. If you do something like this, uh, this is you want to make sure that you put whatever directory um, you put that web directory into under document root. So if you did this, you would just copy and paste uh, var lib apache ht docs, uh, so on and so forth, into this part under document root. Okay, to exit, you would uh, control x and have to be a active window, control x and it's going to ask if we want to save and yes we do so you can just type in y and then uh, it's asking if this is the file name to write to it is if you want to change it um, you would change it but you don't you don't want to change it so so don't do that and there's hit enter and that's really all you need to do uh, to get uh, the, the file so everything's installed at this point and if you had a look at the site itself, you would get some errors. Um, but that's okay because we haven't configured things yet. Uh, but just as just to show you, um, oh, actually, what we're going to need to do is um, we need to restart Apache in order uh, for our changes to be. To take effect, so we would do that with this command, which is sudo. Um, actually, let's let's clear this and make it a little bigger. Let's do sudo. Um, what is it? Uh, system control. Sudo system control. Uh, restart Apache 2 and enter. And so that restarted Apache 2. If I come here and update that you'll see that we now have MRBS configuration error time zone has not been set so we'll um, we'll actually address that in the final video of the series uh, but that does conclude um, this video uh, so what we've done is we've installed the MRBS files onto our server and we've copied the web directory that um, actually installs the system onto our um, onto our server so the next thing that we'll be doing is creating the tables in our database uh, we'll do that in the next video and um, after that we will we will do the configurations to get everything up and running properly uh, so hopefully I will see you in the next video and uh, thanks for watching